Hi friends, in this video, I am going to discuss the next 120 days plan for the prelims 2023. And I can tell you that if you follow this plan wholeheartedly for the next 120 days, no force on earth can stop you to crack the prelims examination. Guys, I am Santosh Pandey. I have cracked the prelims examination all six times and in the last couple of years, I have been able to predict many UPSC questions and also help a lot of aspirants to crack the prelims examination. Guys, in this video, I am going to give you an hourly plan for the next 120 days. Before I start discussing the plan, let me tell you something which I have experienced during my preparation days and which I experience every day in the last two or three years when I have been mentoring many students. Guys, one thing I observed that the only thing which differentiates a successful aspirant and, and an unsuccessful aspirant in the prelims examination is effective planning. Guys, there are students who they are putting three years, four years they are in preparation but they are failing to crack the prelims examination. Guys, the reason is not that they are not putting effort. Obviously, they are putting effort in the last two, three years. If someone is preparing for two, three years, obviously he is putting a cumulative effort. But the problem is that he does not know how to plan their preparation in the last phase of preparation. Guys, UPSC syllabus is such a vast. If you also incorporate current affairs, that many of the students, they get bogged down in the last phase of preparation. Guys, last phase of the preparation is the phase where you need to be very focused and you need to optimize your effort because in the last phase, if you feel, if you get dull, many people, what happened in the last phase, they get anxiety, their confidence start dipping. Okay. And that is the phase where the successful aspirant, they pick up. Okay. See throughout the year, even a successful and unsuccessful aspirant, they are preparing like this. Okay. In the last four months, what happens? The successful aspirant, they pick up like this, they take off like this because of their effective planning. So planning is a must. It is said that failing to plan is planning to fail. So it is high time that today onwards you make a plan for the next 120 days. And I'm going to share with you a very, very like super plan for the prelims 2023. And I will explain you what is this plan. Guys, so you can go there, you can download the plan from here. This is if you go to the website www.optimizeis.com and you can see the plan here. This is a plan, guys. So this is a 120 days plan next four months how should you plan your preparation okay so there are some common mistakes which aspirants do every year and because of that they fail miserably first mistake what aspirant do is that the plan which they make is okay is having all subjects in one day okay don't do like that select one subject select one so there are five to six subjects select one subject and you give yourself target that next five, six days, seven days, I'm going to read only one subject, but I'm going to incorporate the current aspect of that subject. So in one week or in 10 days, I will complete one subject thoroughly, the static part of it and the current part of it. Many students, what they do, they, in one day, they read polity, they read economy, they read geography, they read everything in one day only. That is not an effective way of preparation. That is not an effective way of preparation guys, because what will happen is that after spending 10 days also, you will not be knowing that at least one subject also you have revised or not, because it is very important that you are able to track your progress. So what I have done is that I have selected one subject, for example, okay, I have selected the polity first, I have selected the polity first and I have given 10 days, 10 to 12 days I have given first to polity. Okay. And in the morning session, what I have done is that you have to revise the standard books of polity, whatever NCRT class 11th and 12th NCRT. Okay. The constitution at work and uh, the political theory book, the NCRT books and then Lakshmi Kant and then Lakshmi Kant. And what you need to do is that you need to, okay, top it up with current affairs net. You need to top it up with current affairs notes of that subject. Suppose you are starting with polity. So you will read the polity optima notes. What is polity optima notes? Polity optima notes is the current affairs of polity in the last one year from January to January, January 2022 to January 2023. Whatever important polity topics have happened in the last one year. Okay. I have incorporated every of those topics in the polity optima notes. 
so in the morning what you do you read the static part suppose i read the parliament in the morning and in the evening i read the current part i read the current part of the polity i read the current part of the polity okay for example in parliament parliamentary privileges are in news parliamentary privileges are in news secret setting secret sitting of parliament is in news okay for example in judiciary in judiciary in judiciary appointment is in news so i am not saying that just rely on the current affairs in the morning you read the entire judiciary in the morning you read the entire judiciary you revise the entire judiciary and in the evening evening time you can see here you can see here in the evening time you can see here in the evening time you can see here evening 5 to 7 evening time you read the same topic whatever read you have read in the morning the current aspect of that for example ad hoc judges okay additional judges okay judicial pendency okay uh, article 39a okay legal services aid okay so these are in news this year appointments okay these are in news. all india judicial services so these are in news this year uh, this year so you will read the static part first you read the static part because you need to revise everything because not necessarily all questions will be inspired from current affairs static questions can also come okay so it is very important that you revise the static in the morning from the lakshmikant book from the ncrt book and what you do in the evening you read the polity you read the polity current affairs the optima notes the best best compilation for the last two years optima notes have proved themselves that all the questions most of them which are from current affairs okay they are coming from the optima notes and many students are benefited by reading the optima notes so today in the evening i will be giving you the optima notes okay so that tomorrow from 30th you can start following this time table guys okay and i have included many aspects in the optima notes which will help you to really uh, give an op optimized effort in your prelims guys and what i have done is that one small addition i have done this time okay is you can see here guys you can see here okay that i have given okay some time for monthly current affairs monthly current affairs so what i can do is that what i can suggest is that no need to no need to read the monthly current affairs if you are reading the optima notes if you are reading the optima notes and if you are short in time then no need to read the monthly current affairs okay directly what you do you take the ppp compilation solve 150 questions what ppp solve 150 questions of ppp in this time period and you can solve the monthly current affairs test of that month okay monthly current affairs of that month just browse through the compilation if you want the monthly current affairs you can just just browse through okay but all those current affairs will be covered in this sectional okay subject wise current affairs so it's up to you but this to you follow okay this you should follow okay this you should pakka follow this you should pakka follow this is an option you can follow you cannot follow but take the test take the monthly current affairs test and take the ppp test like that okay you cover the gs1 okay gs1 because okay in the time table you see this still here gs1 is covered till 7 pm okay after 7 pm you continue reading current affairs because last year i have seen questions have come till the month of april from the month of april one question has come from my dpn only one question has come so you at least you should read till the month of april the dpn the daily prelims notes or any current affairs whatever you are following so in the evening 7 to 9 pm you should continue with the current affairs newspaper reading or current affairs reading whatever you are doing continue that continue that daily current affairs you continue that till the month of april and 9 to 10 pm 9 to 10 pm i am going to give you every day i am going to give you csat practice every day i am going to give you csat practice i am going to give you five questions i am going to give you five questions every day for csat practice because you cannot ignore csat also you cannot ignore csat also csat you cannot ignore okay so this is the time table you can follow okay it is freely available and this csat also video will be there coming in youtube you can follow the youtube okay apart from that what i will do sir what i will do sir is that every day every day as per the target i will be giving you target every day okay lakshmikant this chapter in the morning i will give you in my telegram channel okay ask santosh sir or optimize ias you can go and join the telegram channel every day in the morning i'll give you target today these very chapters okay parliament chapter judiciary chapter executive chapter giving you target and every day i will coming in with an analysis of the pyq of that topic topic wise pyq 
topic wise PYQ every day, every day. Okay, I'll be doing topic wise PYQ so that you understand what is the demand of that chapter. What is the demand of the chapter? Because you don't need to read each and everything in that chapter. Parliament chapter is so bulky, so bulky, so bulky. But if you see the PYQs, you will see that okay, UPSC is focusing some aspects of the Parliament chapter. So what you do, sir? You what you do? You watch this PYQ videos every day. I'll come with PYQ videos, which will help you understand. Okay, in this chapter, what to focus upon? Okay, guys. Okay, one more thing is that okay, this is okay. This is optional. If you want, if you want to practice, because just reading will not do. Okay, prelims is all about practice, guys. I have scored one of the highest marks in the prelims, guys. I can tell you that prelims is all about practice. You need to practice a lot. You need to practice a lot. So what I have done is that if you see this plan, you can just let me just erase this. You can see this plan. You can see this plan. You can see that nine to twelve. Nine to twelve. Okay. So after every two days, after every two day, I have kept one test. You see here, I have kept one test. Nine to twelve. Okay. Every the UPSC timing. Okay. So NCRT test. I am starting with the NCRT test. Then the advanced Lakshmikan test. Then advanced Lakshmi Khan test, and then once you complete the entire Optima notes, once you complete the entire Optima notes, once you complete the entire Lakshmi Khan, you have what? Quality Optima test. What is Quality Optima test? Let me explain to you. Quality Optima test is the most expected question this year from the Quality subject. Most expected question this year from the Quality subject. Last year, guys, you can go to this website. You can go to this website. And you can see here one blog. How I predicted prelims 2022. You will see many questions came from the Optima test and the full length test and the end. Many questions have come. You can go. You can see here rapid. You see rapid financing instrument directly. You see directly the cards I made and you see the question. Standing credit facility and extended credit facility is the funding mechanism of which of the organization. You can see here directly. Many questions, around 70 questions have come directly and there is a proof you can see people who have followed last year, they have immensely got benefited. Okay guys, so I will be giving you some Optima cards also for revision that I am just going to explain. Okay, so this test you did, so what you have done, suppose in the next, okay, in the next 14 days starting from tomorrow till 14th of February, what you have done, 13th of February, what you have done, you have revised the NCRT, you have revised the Lakshmi Kant, you have taken NCRT test, you have taken two Lakshmi Kant test. You have revised the entire current affairs of polity. You have revised the entire PYQ in an analytical manner, topic wise, suppose parliament, judiciary, like this, you have analyzed it. And in the end, you have taken the polity optima test. Your job is done. Your polity is done. Your polity is done. So after 13 days, I am confident. Ek subject to bhai nikal gaya mera. One subject is done. I am confident. Okay. But if you do khichidi, Khichdi means what? Same day polity, same day economy, same day geography, then what will happen? Even after 14 days, I will not be able to cover anything. So my confidence will not. See, how will you get confident? One girl messaged me a few days back. She said, I'm not getting confidence. Guys, confidence is not that you can go and purchase some market. Please give me one kg confidence. Are a kg confidence de do. Lo, paisa lo. Nahi kharit sakte. Confidence market sa nahi kharit sakte. Confidence aata hai mehnat se. Confidence aata hai practice se. Confidence aata hai dedication se. Confidence aata hai commitment se. I am confident. Last year I told my student many questions will come. How I am saying so confidently and in the exam also it is coming. Why? You see here. If last year student anyone who is there who have followed the Optima. Did I say or not? I will predict. I told confidently and you see the very first question was directly from the Optima card. Rapid financing facility from Optima card from DPM. You can see here DPM. And my question, how I am confident? Of dedication, devotion, I am doing every day, I am analyzing the current affairs. Three newspaper, four newspaper I am analyzing. And I have analyzed the last 10 years of UPSC. I myself cracked the last six years of UPSC problems. So I know. That is why I am confident. So confidence will come from hard work. Okay, confidence you cannot borrow from someone. You cannot borrow my confidence. I cannot borrow someone else's confidence. It comes from inside. Confidence is from inside. Okay, confidence is from inside and I can tell you if you follow this. So after 14 days you are confident of polity. Why? Because you have read the NCRTs, you have read the Lakshmi Kant, you have solved 400 questions, static questions on polity and you have solved all 100 important questions of polity you have solved. And obviously you will be confident and you have solved the PYQs also. PYQs around 15 questions comes in polity every year and last 10 years 150 questions 
you have solved PYQ is also you have solved you have analyzed what kind of questions are coming you are confident then you go to the next subject 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 yeah you see confidence like a confidence is not something you can borrow okay let me just show you okay let me just okay just one second okay so i just show you okay so like this we will cover every subject like this we will cover every subject okay one round first round of revision is that this only first round of revision okay one round of revision okay one round round one it is called round one round one is one subject one time revision of every subject including four minimum four static test and one optima test plus plus one more thing i i think you have observed or not you are doing you can see here you are doing what you are doing the monthly current affairs test also you are doing the monthly current affairs test also guys you can see here you are doing the monthly current affairs test also you can see here monthly current affairs test okay you see every month there is a ppp 150 questions and monthly current affairs 100 questions every month so around 250 questions you are solving every month after every 4 days after every 4 days you are solving you see here you are solving after every 4 days this you see this okay so this is like intensive plan current affairs be you are preparing you are solving current affairs question every fourth day you are solving one month current affairs question you are solving ppp of that month okay so current affairs is also going on static is going on and the important topics of this year of <coughs> that subject is going on one month not one month at least around two months okay first two months your one round one will be complete two months six around 60 days so out of 120 days 60 days gone in 60 days first round second round what you need to do you get just one second second round what you need to do second round you just need to do only optima notes <coughs> second round you just need to read optima notes then you book you keep aside just focus on optima notes second round okay second round will be only 7 7 days or 5 5 days for every subject okay so around 30 days to 40 days okay second round and in the third round full length test and optima cards revision through optima cards what are optima cards guys these are optima cards you see here last year all important very important topics i will not give you more than 100 to 200 topics i will not give you more than that this year very important ones very important ones you see here last year so many questions came from optima cards okay i'll just show you particularly in the science and tech and environment section i'll just show you one second in science and environment section many question came i want to show you the card okay All science question you see <coughs> optima card web 3.0 you see here quantum computer directly qubits question qubits see underline qubits you can see here then you can see more like this you can go you see here probiotics so i had predicted sir i had predicted cards i had given just imagine and just before last week if you are reading this card pictographic memory amazing guys amazing and many questions i predicted you can go and read this how i predicted prelims 2022 paper you can go and you can watch this you will understand and this is not some like this is not some rocket science okay just out of my experience because i myself cracked it all six times 100% strike rate i have and you see my score okay i have scored around 145 146 and not just once i have scored multiple times i have scored more than 125 so through that experience and through understanding the exam once you understand the exam once you understand the mind of the examiner then it is very simple then it is very simple and our basics should be very strong basic means what ncert books lakshmikant books spectrum books that my foundation was very strong and i hope most of you who are watching this video at least you have 
read these books properly in the last six months. Okay, obviously, if you have just started, you have not read anything about Lakshmi Kant, you have not read Spectrum, then obviously you will be struggling. But if you have read it once, at least once also properly, you have understood it, then this plan will take you to the final destination, which is okay, the mains examination. You will crack problems definitely. Okay, so this plan, you can go through this plan. First round is standard books plus standard test plus the optima notes plus monthly current affairs test every month second round only optima notes only optima notes third round only optima card you see how we are going in this, this way many students they are not able to revise last last month why you see your revision should be like this i just draw this you will understand your revision should be like this why see first you should read everything second round you should read less third round you should read very less okay so it should come like this it should come like this because last week you don't have time to read so less material less material here so you have many students say, sir last week sir i am not able to revise why you are not able to revise because of this fault because of your this fault okay so first you books and notes then only notes then only cards okay this is the philosophy just is a small philosophy okay so you are narrowing down your material you are narrowing down your material so that you can revise multiple times at the end of the preparation cycle which is 10 days before the prelims exam now many people are confused sir where to get these tests where to get this optima test where to get it so guys i'll just have uh, for you you can see here so this you can go to you can go to this website optimizeiascourses.com slash learn slash learn you can go okay and from there optimize iscourses.com you can go and you can go to <coughs> this prelims test series you can go to prelims test series you can see here you can see here just i'll show you okay one second you see here okay this prelims 2020 optima 2023 and there is lakshya 2023 if you want to take all the tests if you want to take all the tests then go for lakshya if you want to take ncrt test if you want to take advanced test then go for lakshya and if you want to take only optima test optima tests are the most important question test then you go for optima you see here in, in, in once you take it okay so i have already purchased in lakshya 2023 okay you can go you will see here okay two things will be written here you see here lakshya prelims test series with csat then lakshya schedule compilation strategy sessions you can go inside in this second one you go inside you will see here everything is there for you you can see here study timetable optima sessions optima sessions are current affairs sessions okay current affairs sessions then monthly current affairs notes okay prelim strategy okay csat okay uh, one more thing announcement i am giving you entire csat free of cost in this test series okay entire csat because people are struggling with csat so i included free csat guidance in this okay there are more than 10 lectures already in concluded in the prelims optima and prelims Lakshya CSAT as you can see prelims strategy session CSAT you can see here 11 lessons 11 lessons already con uh, conducted you can see here you can see here CSAT 1, CSAT 2, CSAT 3, CSAT 4, CSAT 5 you can watch it and we have also current affairs sessions we have also current affairs sessions okay we have also current affairs sessions also you can go back you can go back and you can see the current affairs sessions also you can see here the okay, optima sessions you can see here optima geography one geography two geography three all current affairs of geography is covered so i'll try to cover we'll try to cover some important concepts of current affairs of most of the subjects we will try to cover it okay but mainly okay this is a program for test series it's a test series one of the best test series in the country because we are focusing on only important topics see there are many test series in the country but you want to of you you want to improve the marginal utility of your time when you take that test if questions are coming from that test if the test is made in such a manner that it is only made on important topics which are expected this year then if you invest time on that test you will be rewarded handsomely and guys i can tell you i am seeing what in the last two three years prelims paper is becoming very 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 dynamic very 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 dynamic and you need to choose the best current affairs which i obviously can watch for optima notes they are really one of the best current affairs notes and i can watch for optima tests because i am picking questions okay every question i'm trying to frame 
from the dimension that it should come in the exam. It has a high probability to come in the exam. So guys, this is the simple plan. The plan is very simple. Pick one subject, cover that subject, co solve some 400, 500 questions on that subject, move to the next subject, move to the next subject, move to the next subject and simultaneously, okay, analyze the PYQs also, which I will help you if you follow my, okay, uh, the YouTube channel IS with Santos and every day CSAT practice video will also come, practice video will also come, sir, every day, okay. Uh, which, which is, a, which is a, like you have to solve on the spot. On the spot, you have to solve every day. So, CSAT also, you should like you should practice every day. Okay. So, this this timetable you can see here. There's a timetable you can see here. In the timetable, CSAT practice is there. CSAT practice is there. Okay. Here, I would like to tell you a okay, few mistakes which aspirants are doing and they are, okay, uh, they are like paying the price of that. One mistake what they are doing is that they are trying to club many subjects together. Don't do that. Okay. One is, don't do that. Pick one subject, cover it. Give four or five days. Cover it properly and then move to the next subject. That is the first thing advice I would like to give. Second advice I would like to give you that choose your current affairs properly. Okay. See, these days current affairs magazines are freely available. Just because something is free, that does not mean it is good also. Okay. So, before you start reading something, compare it. Okay. Compare it. What is the coverage? What is the kind of coverage? Now you have to go for wider coverage magazine. Wider coverage magazine. Okay. Because UPSC is going very wide. Okay. You have to cover very wide. So this is the second advice. Third advice, many students, what mistake they are doing? They are not solving the complete test. They are not solving complete test. What their mistake they are doing is that they are solving every day 40 questions, every day 50 questions. That is a waste of time. Why? It is a complete waste of time, complete waste of time solving 40 questions daily, solving for 30 questions daily, solving 50 questions daily. Better you read for 2-3 days, take 100 question test. Better you read 2-3 days, take 100 question test. Why? Because what is the purpose of test? What is the purpose of test? Test purpose is to build you that temperament, build you that 2 hours focus. If I take 30 question test or 50 question test, this means I am not sitting for 2 hours. I am not developing my focus availability. I am not uh, developing my ability to eliminate options. I am not able to develop my ability how many questions to attempt. And those students will only fail in the exam because they are not able to judge. How will they will judge? Because they are taking 30 tests. They are taking 40 question tests. They are taking 50 question tests daily. And they don't have the time to okay, take the full test. They are taking only 5-6 full tests because they are taking daily some 30-40 tests. Don't do that. You read for 2 days. Read intensively and then take the test. Read intensively, then take the test. You see, this is the timetable for that. <coughs> okay, one second, I'll just erase everything. Just give me one minute. Just give me one minute. Okay, you see here, you can see here, so every second day there is a test, every third day there is a test, then you see here, five days there is no test, then there is a test, then again two, three days there is no test, then there is a test, so it gives time to for preparation and one more thing, guys, suppose every day if you take 30, 50 question test, 60 question test, that entire day now you are not feeling like studying because if you take every day test, then you analyze that test, then where is the time to study? Guys, all the test is made from books only. All the test is made from current affairs magazine only. Okay, they are not being created from uh, somewhere. So, don't do the reverse engineering. Many people, they are focusing more on reverse engineering. I am not denying that, okay, you have to solve tests. Okay, 50, 60 tests you should solve. 50, 60 tests you should solve before prelims. Okay, so in next 120 days, you should solve at least 60 to 70 tests. Okay, but okay, don't overdo also because it is what you have studied that only you are applying in the test. But some people are some that like there is a false notion that just by memorizing some uh, test paper, I will clear UPSC. Guys, this is just bullshit. This is just bullshit. Just by memorizing some test answer. Why I'm telling you one simple question. Why I'm telling you suppose I take one question on contempt of court. Okay, or I make one question on appointment of judiciary. So, if suppose I make one question, I might pick one aspect 
appointment only i will pick one aspect i will frame mitochondrial evolution of collagen but that in upsc question will come on some other aspect of appointment might be memorandum of procedure might be something else only so better what better you need to read what the appointment of judiciary then you will be able to solve every question okay so don't make the mistake i am not denying you solve the test solve entire lecture test 60 to 60 test you solve it but don't do the reverse engineering only you read also reading is the core reading is your core reading is your base once your base is strong obviously questions also you will be solved it is not the other way around that if you solve the question then you have read everything no that mistake don't do that mistake is foolishness okay so guys this is a small advice i have given you what first advice is what make a time table follow this time table if you want 120 days time table second advice is what follow one subject for at least 4 5 days cover that subject solve some pyqs solve some test on that subject then move to the next subject when you are covering some subject cover the current affairs of that subject simultaneously suppose i read polity cover the polity current affairs simultaneously okay in the morning if i am reading the parliament cover the parliament current affairs in the evening i am reading the sorry next day if i am reading the parl uh, the panchayati raj cover the panchayati raj current affairs okay if you are reading the national bodies then cover the national bodies current affairs which are in news like this year which 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 uh, national bodies are in news cag is in news cci competition commission is in news like that okay sir just you have to integrate things integrate things solve the pyqs like like cover one subject then move to next subject then move to next subject then move to next subject don't ignore csat don't ignore csat follow the youtube channel okay every day five questions uh, very good questions okay every day and you will okay solve that okay take it as a challenge every day half an hour take it as a challenge csat challenge okay with this i would like to conclude okay best of luck guys if you are struggling in csat free csat csat lessons are going on on youtube also and in that test series also okay attend that session every sunday there is a csat class and some current affairs sessions are also going on in optima along with the test some current affairs okay important questions current affairs test will happen and also test will happen important questions and please before that you please read this this how i predicted you can see here in lakshya how many tests are there ncert 11 test okay then advanced 16 test monthly current affairs test 15 entire important question paper subject wise 8 and full length test okay full length test we have 10 and csat test we have 10 total there are 70 test total there are 70 test okay so this is uh, this is uh, the lakshya in optima what you will get you will get only this you will not get this so 26 27 test you will not get you will get this you will get this and csat sessions are uh, in both and uh, current affairs sessions are also in both okay guys and optima notes are in both optima cards are also in both so with this i would like to conclude okay best of luck guys okay stay focused for the next one day one twenty days and let me uh, let me end you with an assurance that in the next one twenty days i am there with you okay i am there with you if uh, anything which is in my hand i will do to help you to crack the prelims exam i will analyze the paper i will try to see the trend i will try to predict the probable question which might come in the exam i will be guiding you constantly every day in the telegram channel and on the target every day in the morning i'll give you the target meet that target so if you meet that target small small target if you meet it your confidence automatically will go up but suppose you don't make any plan haphazardly you are going here there here there here there you will never reach your destination okay so best of luck guys bye bye take care